Well, hello everybody. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. Have you ever wondered what a slight risk for severe weather really means? I mean, I post these on Facebook often whenever we go underneath of a severe weather risk. But what does it really mean that we're under a slight risk for severe weather? Or a moderate risk for that matter? Or, or the ra very rare high risk that we get once or twice a year issued by the SPC? I want to take you through just briefly today what these are. Basically, think about it before we get into the probabilities of what, of what it means. Um, just think about it like this. A slight risk for severe weather means there is at least a small chance um, that severe weather will strike in your area. And specifically, what this is, is um, under a slight risk, what we're saying is there is at least a 15% chance of severe weather striking somewhere within 25 miles of any given point in the area that's outlined. And so on this particular map that I've got pulled up, by the way, this is uh, from June 12, 2013, which is whenever we had a pretty powerful duration move through northern Indiana. Uh, and, and this area right here is what I would define, uh, what they define as the slight risk. This particular area that's hatched in red is, of course, the moderate risk. And this area right here is what's defined as a high risk. Well, what all does that mean? Well, let me take you to explain to it. If you go to the Storm Prediction Center's website, one thing that you can look up is their frequently asked questions. There's a lot of great info that you can get on here. spc.noaa.gov will get you there. Just look on their site map and search for frequently asked questions. You can get it. It'll provide you links to this. This actually will help you understand what you're seeing over on this page. And so we can understand that most commonly they're issued for wind, sometimes for hail, and very rarely those is are issued because of hail. Uh, mostly for wind, and like I said, sometimes tornado. I may have said that wrong. But a slight risk is essentially any time that there's a 15 or 30 percent chance of uh, severe weather striking within 25 miles of any given area in that circled area. Moderate risk goes up to 45 percent. A high risk starts at 60 percent, and that's defined by what you get with these areas. So if we just apply that back to here, essentially what that would be saying is there is at least in this slight risk area a 15 percent chance of severe weather striking, possibly even a 30 percent. If you go in here, then there's going to be a 45 percent. If you go up here, there's a 60 percent. By the way, they only issue high risks two or three times a year. They're very cautious about those. To put it into perspective, the tornado that struck Moore, Oklahoma back in uh, May of 2013 uh, devastated the town. That was only a moderate risk. And I scratched my head that day wondering before the events even happened why it wasn't high risk. And I know many other of my colleagues in, 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 as meteorologists, we wondered that. But... Um, they're very cautious with it. So uh, when you see a high risk, take it very seriously. Slights are very common. Moderates are a little less common. High risks are very rare. And then, of course, you see these. Uh, you, can, you can find these on the Storm Prediction Center's website as well for their probabilistic uh, issuance. So here's the, for their tornado probabilities. And here's what it really was in that event. It was for wind, as it most commonly is. And you can see there is at least a 15% chance in this whole area, which is what defined the slight risk. Some of it was hatched 30. The moderate risk, which I showed you, there it is as a 45. And this 60%, there you go. If you translate those back up there, you find them in the exact same shapes as that. So it's as simple as that. Um, and these areas, if you're wondering, well, how are they determined? Uh, the folks at the Storm Prediction Center uh, just use their forecasting skills and understanding of severe weather to hatch out things. So I know I've had some people in the past say, well, it, it split my county and I'm in the side of the county that, that the line didn't go through. Well, you know what? Essentially, whenever they're drawing these risk zones, it has to go through somewhere. They're not drawing these by county. They're just drawing the lines on the map to be as into the best location that, uh, as they can. But it is a rough estimate. So if half of your county is in there and half of your county is not, just understand that you're under a risk for severe weather it would be the way to interpret that. So um, that is, in a nutshell, what it means. I guess the most simple way I could think of to explain it is if you see yourself underneath of a slight risk for severe weather, understand that severe weather is very possible to happen um, and um, 
keep it tuned here to Southern Indiana weather, and we will track those storms and keep you safe. Uh, I have uh, the same radar technology that Na National Weather Service has. I actually get the data straight from their radars. I have a radar program that looks just like this, and uh, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can go on right on down to uh, the street level if I want to, and uh, sometimes it takes a little bit for the satellite to to uh, get on here but as you can see I, I can go, go zoom in right down on to the street level and uh, keep you safe and I don't have just one product uh, that I can show you it's not just the, the base reflectivity that's up here I can show you this for example here's a current severe thunderstorm warning out in Kansas I can pop this open and uh, I can split my screen right like this if this were a tornado warning I could show you not only the base reflectivity I can show you right here and show you actually as you just take a look on this you can see just a tiny bit of rotation showing up here it's it's slight at this point uh, but it's potentially there um, I have tools like this that I can use to keep you safe so when you see a slight risk for severe weather uh, keep it tuned right here to southern Indiana weather I'll track those storms I'll keep you safe and uh, I will post them to Facebook and it'll go to Twitter and uh, I'll, I'll keep on recording uh, YouTube videos to keep you ahead of the game and you can always go over to southern Indiana weather dot com and while you're getting your forecast uh, and you can see the latest video forecast is out right here on the front when it's severe weather season I'll put those in here but if you go right on the storm center and click on severe weather outlooks straight from the SPC's website right into mine you can get those severe weather outlooks and stay ahead of the game right on your own so and of course we can subscribe to us on YouTube there's multiple ways that you can do this but uh, uh, one way or the other no matter how you do it I'm here to keep you safe and ahead of the game. So, as always, if you have any questions about what it means, and I know, like I said, I get these all the time. What does it mean to have a slight risk or a, a moderate risk for severe weather? Hopefully this explanation has helped you a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to answer questions. I love to do that. Uh, so, again, hope this was helpful to you, and uh, enjoy. For Southern Indiana Weather, I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Have a great day.